Elisabetta Serrani was an independent painter by the age of 19, and she ran her family's workshop after her father could no longer work. She supported her family through her art. She spent her life in Bologna, a famous city known for its progressive attitude towards women that likely inspired her art through her time, and also inspired other women, future artists, to represent women with power while also being sensual and sexual at the same time. The first painting we will look at is, is Serrani's Portia wounding her thigh from 1664, and this painting is based on Roman history. Portia was the wife of Brutus, and supposedly, according to scholars, she had a hand in the killing of Julius Caesar. However, if you look, take a closer look at the painting, she is in a position of power, while also still looking beautiful, sensual, and sexual. According to the story, Portia wounds her thigh to prove to her husband that she can withstand and keep secrets, which kind of goes hand in hand with the story that she helped with the murder of Julius Caesar. This is a very powerful painting. There are strong and clear brushstrokes with a contrast of color. The red blood on her thigh contrasts with her pale white skin. And also, it also matches with her red dress, which is not clothing from the Romans, but more from Serrani's time. However, it still shows great power, and it shows the lengths women had to go through to be taken seriously. She had to stab her thigh to prove to her husband that she could keep secrets and be a part of history. Not only is there the color contrast with the red blood, the red dress, and her pale skin, but there is also the divided room. There are the lines right behind her arm that show the three other figures in the back. Clearly, that line, that wall, separates Portia from the rest of the woman, symbolizing that she is a woman of power. The second painting we will look at is Timoclea killing Uranus from 1659. The story behind this painting comes from a tale from Plutarch's biography of Alexander the Great. During an invasion, a captain rapes Timoclea. After the assault, the captain asks her where her money is hidden. Timoclea, cleverly, leads him to her garden well. As he peers into it, she ends up dropping him into it and also dropping some heavy rocks on top of him until he dies. Now, taking a closer look at the painting, we see Timoclea, beautiful, but in a position of power. She's about to murder her rapist. His legs build lines directly towards her face, so she is a centerpiece. His arm also makes a line in an L shape, leading us to look at his face. These lines highlight Clemothea. Not only do these lines highlight Timoclea, but also the facial expressions of the captain and her. His face looks horrified. He's about to fall to his death. While Timoclea looks indifferent or looks powerful, no matter how you take it, there is that contrast between the two of them. One last important element to note is the use of the Baroque style. Baroque artists often use light and dark contrast in these paintings. However, there's a lot of light colors that kind of highlight Timoclea, the red of the captain's cape, but then there's also the dark colors in the background in the gray murky sky. These figures look human, not godly, which was an aspect of that art style. Both these paintings portray women in a space where men are usually portrayed. In these two cases, the women are in a position of power, overruling the men, which was one of Serrani's main purposes. Serrani liked to de develop new interpretations of female figures in all her paintings. Particularly, her work portrays heroines from history. Serrani was not the only woman that depicted women in paintings in a position of power. Artemisia Janiskevsky also depicted women in positions of power. For example, Judas slaying Olafrenes, which is two women killing another captain general. Both Serrani and Janiskevsky were painters around the same time, but this is not to say that they did not influence one another, since a lot of men painters depicted men in a sense of power and if they did depict women, it was in a sexual or sensual way. Serrani paved the way for women to be depicted in a powerful light, while also still being sensual, beautiful, in the, in the eyes of men. But her influence was gravely put into future women artists.